So today's video is something that I've wanted to film for a while but I've been waiting for one of the products to arrive which finally arrived a few days ago and I'm really excited to do this video for you guys. For those of you that watch my November favourites I mentioned in there that I will be doing a dupes video for um, Max limited edition O Dialing Highlighter. I've actually got three really, really good dupes for you guys. For those of you that don't know, this is MAC O Darling. It is a limited edition extra dimension skin finish. And it is basically this gorgeous gold highlighter. Now, this came out, I think, when did it come out in the UK? I'm not even sure. I think it came about a month and a half ago. And people went absolutely crazy over this. And the reason that people went crazy over Max O oh Darling was because it is meant to be a near enough dupe to Max Whisper of Guilt that Mac brought out a few years ago, which is basically like an urban legend. It's like a cult classic. It is one of those highlighters that you can't get anymore and it's sold out everywhere and people went absolutely crazy over it and you can't no one you can't really get your hands on it anymore. And if you do want to get it, um, you can buy it off eBay, but people actually sell Whisper of Guilt on eBay for about between anywhere between 100 and 200 pounds, and people are actually paying for it. So people got really excited when O Darling was coming out because it was a near enough dupe for Whisper of Guilt. So when this, so when this came out, it was crazy. Like people went absolutely crazy over this. This sold out within minutes online. It sold out in people were queuing in shops. I was lucky enough to actually get mine um, on Debenhams, and it is gorgeous and it is absolutely stunning. I'm just, I'll do a swatch for you. So that's the highlighter there. It just glides on and there you go that's the actual highlighter itself. So it just gives this really nice metallic gold look on your cheeks, that wet look so you're like glowing from within. It is really smooth, it's really silky, it's really blend blendable and it's really creamy and it's just absolutely gorgeous. But like I said, if you guys don't have it, don't worry, there are three really good dupes. The first dupe that I want to show you is actually this eyeshadow from Kiko and this is a water eyeshadow and it's in the number 208 and this is absolutely gorgeous. You can get this from the Kiko website in the UK and it's only £8.90. When it's on offer it's actually half price, you can get it for £4 but this is really creamy guys, it is absolutely gorgeous, it's very similar to O oh Darling. It's really, so I'm just going to do a swatch next to O oh Darling for you. So there you go, so this one's O oh Darling, that's Kiko. So you can see they are absolutely practically identical. So this one is O oh Darling and this is Kiko 208 and there's hardly any difference in it. The only other difference I would say with the Kiko and the O oh Darling is that Kiko is just a little bit, slightly ever a bit more powdery than O oh Darling is and it's just a little bit more fallout. But apart from that tech, apart from the texture, the look that it gives you is exactly the same. I've actually used this on my cheeks and it just looks, it looks amazing. So this is a really, really, really good dupe and a really good product. And it's available at the moment on um, the Kiko Cosmetics website in the UK. So the next dupe I have for you is this Baked Gelato from Laura Geller and it is in the colour Gilded Honey. I'm sure a lot of you have already heard about this and this is what it looks like. So this became really famous because this was actually originally a dupe for Max Whisper of Guilt which I've mentioned before. So this is really popular. Again, this is absolutely gorgeous. It's that gold highlighter colour. So this one is Laura Geller and this one is Mako Darling. So as you can see, again, very, very, very similar. I will show you a side-by-side -side swatch. So this is Laura Geller and this is Mako Darling. The only thing I will say, I don't think the camera here is picking up. The only difference that I will say is that I will say the Laura Geller one is slightly, ever so slightly, a little bit more gold in colour than the Mako Darling but only when you see them like this. But again, it's really creamy, it's really blendable, it's really smooth, and it's such a good, and it's such a good dupe for O oh Darling. This, this goes for 21 pounds, and you can get it from Cult Beauty in the UK, or you can get it yours from, or you can get it from QVC when they have it in stock as well. I got mine from QVC, so I got it mine for about 24 pounds because it came with a brush, but it's usually available in a few of the department stores as well when it's in stock. Oh, I've just put my finger in the, Laura Geller highlighter. Damn you! So the final dupe I have for you guys is the So Hollywood Illuminator from Anastasia Beverly Hills. This has been selling like hotcakes because it is meant to be a dupe for Whisper of Guilt and Oh Darling. And as you can see, it's very similar. It's that gold highlighter colour. 
this is the actual the highlighter that I have on my cheeks today. So you can see it's that metallic wet highlighter look that just gives you that glow from within and it's absolutely gorgeous. I will just do a swatch for you and show you. So there they are side by side. So this is Anastasia Beverly Hills and this is Mac O Darling. As you can see, they are so similar. So this is Mac O Darling and this is Anastasia Beverly Hills. So as you can see, near enough an exact dupe. It looks so gorgeous. I mean, I'm wearing, like I said, I'm wearing it right now and you can just see, you can see that's so Hollywood right now and it's just, is beautiful. I would say that actually out of the other two, out of the three dupes, this is probably the one that is closest in texture to Mako Darling as well. It is just as creamy, it is really creamy and buttery, just like O Darling. Whereas I would say that Gilded Honey and the Kiko 208 eyeshadow are just a little bit more powdery and not as creamy and buttery, but still really good and blendable. But if I'm talking about just texture wise, this is probably the closest to O Darling that you're going to get. So this you can get from, again, Cult Beauty in the UK, and it goes for about £28. At the moment, I know it's out of stock, but I'm sure it will come back in stock and you can join the waiting list. So here you go, and you can see all four of them next to each other. So the top one is Mac O Darling. Then you have the Kiko 208. Then you have Laura Geller, Gilded Honey, and then you have Anastasia Beverly Hills, So Hollywood. So as you can see, they are so similar in the payoff and also the color. I would say the biggest difference between them is the texture. The one that is closest to Mako Darling, I would say in texture wise as well, is Anastasia Beverly Hills. It is just as creamy, just as smooth as O Hollywood as O oh Darling. Um, I would say the Kiko one and the Laura Geller one are a little bit more um, powdery and they're not as creamy as Mako oh Darling. But as you can see the colour pay as but from here you can see the actual payoff that you get is is very, very similar. So those are all the dupes that I have for you guys. I hope that this video has been helpful for you. And like I said, for those of you that were not able to get Mako Darling, there are other options available for you that are just as good and give you just as gorgeous highlight on your face and give you that payoff that O Darling does. Please don't forget to subscribe, comment, and like down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. Mm -hmm.